Hello everyone, welcome back to RGB Tech. Here today, I'm gonna to test WinLater Mali on a six-year-old Mali GPU device. Quite low end as of today. The phone is powered by Exynos 7904 processor with four gigs of LDDR4X RAM. And this version of WinLater is only designed for Mali GPU devices or any universal devices based on VirGL. Whether if you are using MediaTek or Exynos or Unisoc, whatever phones. Go to releases, download and install package. For some users, the Antutu version works and for some Geekbench version. After that, open WinLater Mali. Enable storage permission. Now go to settings. Mostly leave all these settings to default. Set both presets to performance. The developer already optimized all these settings to perfectly work on Mali. Now get back, add container. Set resolution to 800 and to 600 or lower, or even 640 to 480. All these are usual. Set audio driver to pulse audio. Enable FPS meter if you want. Set desktop theme. Set video memory to maximum. Leave the remaining settings as default, no need to change. Go to advanced. Here set startup selection to aggressive. Enable all CPU cores and affinity. Save the container settings. Now start the container, it starts to boot. All right, now to start. System tools, wine configuration. Make sure to set Windows 7 version. Apply and okay. Let's check out the Direct3D. As you can see, it shows FPS, but still getting black screen. But don't worry. Here you need to configure and install some drivers. Go to start, install NVIDIA Phys X driver. Yeah, we know it mostly may not work at all, but still it may help work on some DirectX 9 titles to render. Same install Microsoft Visual C++. Right, now let's check out CAPS driver. Here, as you can see, the PhysX driver got configured. It supports up to GL 2.1, runs on a basic wine adapter. There are 232 GL extensions. Here, let's test some 3D demos. Same, it won't work for GL 4. Same for 3. GL 2.1 Furry Cube. As you can see, the memory usage is almost to 65%. Same, it works for GL 2.1 or lower, means you can actually render titles based on DirectX 9 or lower. I told you guys number of times in my past videos. On tools section, here you can see device hardware, CPU cores, and memory. All right guys, it's time to test some of the games. Enable RTS controller. Oh, the game is not booting. Let's try with another one. A bit intensive Direct X9 game. All right, it started. No problem this time. 50,000 people used to live here. Now it's a... Good news first, the world's in great shape. We've got a civil war in Russia, government loyalists against ultranationalist rebels, and 15,000 nukes at stake. Just another day at the office. Khaled al Assad, currently the second most powerful man in the Middle East. Now, word on the street is he's got the minerals to be top dog down there. Intel's gonna lie on him. And the bad news? We've got a new guy joining us today. Fresh out of selection. His name's Soap. It got stuck. Let's go. Let's go! Oh my god, I'm <laughs> Anyways, that's it all for today's video, guys. Hope you liked also subscribed for more. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.